Hello everyone. You are on the channel Interesting. Antelope Canyon is an amazing creation of nature. It is a bizarre sandy cliffs with giant crevices, illuminated by light. For several centuries, water and wind have carved depressions of several hundred meters in the red sandstone. It was rainwater, slowly flowing down and taking away grains of sand, that over the years formed these graceful relief lines inside the rocks. The canyon got its name due to the reddish red walls, reminiscent to the skin of an antelope. The canyon is located in northern Arizona between the city of Page and a large coal fired power plant 240 kilometers from the Great Colorado Canyon. The best time to visit is in spring and autumn, March, April and October, November. At this time, the sun's rays penetrate to the very bottom, and the canyons look as if a bright light is burning inside a dark palace. In winter, the lighting in the canyons is rather dim. It is rather gloomy inside, deep shadows and flat reliefs. Antelope Canyon attracts photographers from all over the world because has an interesting property. In photographs it looks much more colorful and mysterious than it can be seen in reality, some colors and tones appear only in photographs. The best time to photograph is in the middle of the day when the sun is at its zenith. Antelope Canyon is divided into upper and lower. The upper canyon is very beautiful. Upper Antelope Canyon the place where water runs through the rocks is most often visited by tourists due to the fact that the entrance and the entire length of this part of the canyon are at ground level and do not require climbing, and also because it is much easier here see rays falling from holes at the top of the canyon than in the lower one. Rays are more common in the summer, as this requires the sun to be as high in the sky as possible. Lower Antelope Canyon Spiral Arches of the Rock is located a few kilometers further from Upper Antelope Canyon. Before the installation of metal ladders, visiting the canyon required climbing and descending ropes and highly dangerous rope ladders in certain areas. Even after installing the stairs, the excursion in Lower Antelope Canyon remained much more difficult than the excursion in Upper Antelope Canyon. The route is longer, narrower in places, and in some places you cannot even stand on your feet. At the end of the route, you need to climb several long flights of stairs. Despite these limitations, Lower Antelope Canyon is much more attractive to photographers looking to capture it on film. The lighting is better here in the early hours of the morning or late in the afternoon. Dangers when visiting the canyon, in summer, poisonous snakes and spiders can be found here. But the biggest danger is flash floods during the rainy season. There should be no rain close by during the visit. Water from a distance of several miles upstream can reach the canyon quickly and with little sign of approach. During a thunderstorm or even with insignificant signs of its occurrence, it is strictly forbidden to descend into the canyon. The likelihood of a flash flood is too high, 